violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Clayton County Police are still looking for the person that shot five people killing a teenager. This morning, we have new details to share about the victim. Five people shot, teenager killed. <clears throat> this is, this is basically the epitome of what mass shootings look like in the US. <clears throat> the majority of them are coming straight from the community, live and direct. These house parties, these Airbnb parties, whatever you want to call it, these super gremlins are on demon time. Police say 19 year old Kyrie Allen had just graduated from Creekside High School months ago. He was killed Saturday at the Park Leeds apartments. New developments in this shooting that left behind bullet holes and broken windows. Police now say five people were hit at an apartment complex in Clayton County. One victim died. Mm. Investigators are concerned over how criminals are getting their guns. Channel 2's Brian Mims live now at that apartment complex. And Brian, police spoke today revealing some new information about the victim who died here. And here's a bit of that new information. We know the man who was shot and killed, his name was Kyrie Allen, 19 years old. And this is where it happened. This parking lot outside an apartment complex or at an apartment complex off Riverdale Road. Police say some type of dispute led up to this deadly violence. Some type of dispute. And it really doesn't even matter. In the community, it could be about anything. It could be about cold fries. <laughs> it could be about, um, you know, your shoelaces being untied. It doesn't matter. Any altercation with these super gremlins can turn violent at the blink of an eye. In a news conference today, Clayton County Police said gunfire erupted after a dispute between two groups of people, but they declined to say what the fight was about. Captain Chris Winley also would not say whether those involved in the shooting lived here at the park at Leeds Apartments. We're asking for the public to help us out in reference to identify any witnesses or suspects in reference to it so we can get all this case solved and get everybody off the street in reference to this crime. 19-year-old Kyrie Allen was killed. Police say four others were shot and are expected to recover. Among those shot is Daryl okay? Wynn, who told us he was celebrating his birthday outside when he was hit in the foot. Mm. Guys, if you're not involved, go away. Go this is video showing the moments after the shooting Saturday night. The woman who recorded this cell phone video did not want to be identified. And you heard what the cop said, if you're not involved, go away but you got these super spectator gremlins on demon time and they're trying to make a fuss heckling the police what happened what y'all do to them <laughs> not even knowing the story just pulling up with their phones out deep the, the people out here like come on let them let them do their job she told us the shooting centered on this silver dodge sedan after the gunshots i came on the balcony and the boys were out here panicking. It was three boys shot. One was dead in the back seat. The other one was shot in the back of the head. And the other one was shot on the side. Captain Windley expressed frustration at the gun violence and urged gun owners to secure their weapons. We're asking the public to make sure that... <laughs> what? This has nothing... This is a mass shooting. This has nothing to do with securing your weapons. This has everything to do with securing these super gremlins on demon time they get the guns off the street we're finding a lot of the crimes are the guns are coming from guns left in cars and cars being broken into or cars being left unsecured clayton county police describe this as an isolated incident stemming from some kind of dispute they say there is no surveillance video from the parking lot so they're really counting on people to come forward witnesses with information about this shooting reporting live in clayton county brian mims channel 2 action news 
Uh, within the last two hours, we've confirmed the name of a teen in a killed in a shooting that injured four other people. This happened in Clayton County. Tracy A. McPeer is live for us at the Clayton County Police Headquarters now with the latest. Tracy. Well, police have identified that teen as 19 year old Kyrie Allen, and right now they're pleading with any witnesses to come forward as they're searching for the gunman. Uh, I mean, you're going to be hard pressed. No cameras, no evidence. Communita. You're going to be hard pressed to get some witnesses. Even dude who got shot in the foot. He probably ain't even talking either. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna be hard pressed to get some witnesses, uh, and this is how these guys get off with these bodies. So by the time they get arrested, they don't got three, four bodies already that the police don't know about. Not to mention the ones that they get arrested for, and bailing out, I might add. So the no snitch policy, street code, in full effect. It's not practiced by the people at the top, but it's damn show practice by these super gremlins on demon time. In this case, now the shooting happened at the park at Leeds Apartments on Riverdale near College Park around 11 o'clock on Saturday night. Clayton County Police told me there was a dispute among a group of people leading to the shooting that killed the 19 year old. Four others were hurt. Now police are calling it an isolated incident and asking the public's help to keep guns off the street. A lot of uh, crimes that we're having are gun related. So we're asking the public to make sure that they get the guns off the street. We're finding that a lot of the crimes are, the guns are coming from guns left in cars and cars being broken into or cars being left unsecured. Now again, if you saw anything, police want to hear from you. Now we're working to find out more about the victims. That's for 11 Alive News at 5. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. 11, a woman who lost her son to gun violence says he was trying to break up a fight before getting shot. Mm. We told you over the weekend about a mass shooting in Clayton County. Well, News Edge reporter Rob DiRienzo spoke to the high school graduate's mother about her unimaginable loss. Uh-oh. Time to hear what mama got to say. And this part is always very sad, upsetting. You know, hopefully she doesn't forgive them immediately. Um, but, you know, definitely condolences to the family. These are some tough losses, especially when he was trying to do the right thing. And my advice to you guys, if you're in the community and you see a fight break out, get away as as quickly as you can. 19 year old Kyrie Allen was just starting life. Over the weekend, someone shot and killed him outside of an apartment complex off Riverdale Road in Clayton County. Mm. I spent some time with his mom, who says he just graduated from Creekside High in May. He's Mr. Creekside. Kyrie Allen proudly wore this crown after classmates voted him Mr. Creekside. I have this crown to remind me that I raised the king. After his killing, it's now one of Katrina. Damn. She had the crown to remind her that she raised a king and then another one of these super king gremlins on demon time came and mopped them up, man. Tree Salen's most precious possessions. These are the moments that I had with my baby. These are the moments that I can remember, even though they robbed me from my baby. The teen was among five people shot outside the parks at Leeds in Clayton County on Saturday night. He was the only one who didn't make it. Getting that phone call, it's the worst phone call your mama can ever get. Police haven't said what led up to all of it, 
Alan's mom says it all started when someone accused him and his friends of stealing a dirt bike. They said my son was trying to defuse it before they got in the car. Like, no, we don't get down like that. Loved ones say Kyrie was an aspiring rap artist and entertainer. His mom says they were recording at a... Uh-oh. He was a rapper. <sighs> um, now it's all starting to make sense. The company that he kept, probably also other rappers, entertainers, or wannabe entertainers, SoundCloud rappers even. They can get you murk, bro. They really can. It's, it's sad, but this is the world that we live in. Being a rapper is very dangerous in this day and age. I've spoken about the op culture. It needs to stop. A friend's home studio. She says the killer confronted the teens as they were leaving to go to a show. And they just shot up the car. And my son was, he was dead on a rap. He didn't deserve none of this at all. And he had a bright future. Kyrie's cousin blames Georgia's open carry law, at least in part. It needs to change the laws about. Um, no, <laughs> it's not the laws. You don't see nobody else shooting each other up like this. We need to change the culture of the community. We need to change the types of dudes who are valued in the community and the types of dudes who are protected in the community because it's definitely not the educated lames or the dudes who are trying to do right. The guys who are getting behind in the community are dudes who will shoot up the party. Straight up. I know it's emotional. I know that, you know, she's upset and whatnot, but you're barking up the wrong tree here when you're speaking about something you have, you, you know nothing about. Okay. The fact that this individual shot off at, the, at a party, I, I, I can pretty much guarantee that um, he wasn't even legally able to possess a weapon. Tuh. This ain't about the open carry laws, um, sus. It's not. It's about these super gremlins on demon time. The guns, because everyone is just dying. <laughs> no one deserves to go through this at all. Clayton PD hasn't told us if it has a suspect. Through it all, Catrice Allen says she forgives the person who killed her. Lord have mercy. Did I call it or not? Forgiveness before the man is even in the ground. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And this is how the problem never gets solved. This is why right here. There's got to be some anger about this. There's got to be a grudge that is held about this stuff or nothing is going to get done. It's, I mean, it's insane. And I know this is her grieving process and whatnot, but come on. <laughs> I bet she wishes, you know, well for the, the super gremlins that did this. I bet she... Hopes that they turn themselves in, right? Only son and best friend. I know he's okay. I know he's in heaven. He's okay? He's he's dead. He, he's not okay. He's O-V. Oh, God. Through it all, Catrice Allen says she forgives the person who killed her only son and best friend. I know he's okay. I know he's in heaven. In Clayton County, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.